Hi everyone, I recently had the question on how to show related items on Nintex forms. Now, what do I mean by related items? So if we look at our example here, we've got a bunch of project sites and so I've got uh, Village Lane and Farmco Circle and so on and so forth. Now these are places where we're doing projects and you know they're active or completed projects. And then when we do a hazard report, each week we have to do a hazard report for these project sites for instance. Now you can see a bunch of hazard reports have been done. Now how do I um, actually show those? Now you can't show these items on the form. The best I can offer is a link to the SharePoint list showing these items. Uh, unfortunately we don't have a list view control like in classic forms for SharePoint on-prem. Um, so the best we can do is a dynamic URL to open up in a new tab and show a filtered view here. So how would I go about doing that? Well the first thing I would do is go to the column you want to filter on and so by that I mean it's got to be the column that is, um, it's like a primary key. So when I uh, when I do a hazard report, it um, it does a lookup, a list lookup to my project sites list, which is a list lookup control. So here's all my here's all my active projects. So when I select those, they're going to be um, exactly that format from my project sites. So you can see there's a there's the same name here and here. So that means they're related I guess you could say. So then how could I build a link from my project site so I can click on it and see a filtered list of uh, hazard reports. So first thing I would do is um, filter on the column that's used in the list lookup which for me it's title so I'm going to filter that and just select anything at random so village lane will do. Press filter and what you'll notice in the uh, URL is, well first it's a bit of junk in there, you can get rid of view ID, this is what I do anyway, and filter type 1, and what you notice is the URL still works, and you can see that it's actually filtered out uh, village lane, and that's because it's got uh, the, I guess I guess you call primary key, it's not really a primary key, but it's something that's unique to that uh, project site is in the URL, which filters this hazard report list. So that's that's the dynamic piece we're going to need down in our text form. So I'm going to copy all of this, and I'm going to go back to my project sites, and I'm going to open up Nintex form. So this is the place where I want to open up a form, click on a link, and it's going to take me to a filter view of my hazard reports. So the first thing I need to do is drag on a label to the top, and I'm going to insert a link. So I'm going to paste, uh, not going to paste. I'm going to insert a variable, and I'm going to put this in here because we need this uh, to be dynamic. We need this URL to be dynamic based on uh, whatever form you're on. So we're going to call this uh, filtered hazard reports. Oops. Okay, so now we've got that there. What you'll, I've uh, got quotation marks around it because it's a, it's a string because this does calculations and create and insert. And then we're going to say hazard reports for, and we're going to make this dynamic as well. So we're going to say insert, well the other part's not dynamic yet, but um, we're going to insert title and press OK. So let's publish and see what that looks like first. Oops, I skipped ahead and did I just wreck my work? Oh, it's still in there, perfect. So uh, I clicked away too soon. So if we come to Village Lane, we open that up. Okay, so has reports for and dynamic token in there. So we can see that it's taken the data from here and clicking on that and it's given us a nice dynamic filter there. Now uh, if you're uh, a little bit familiar with SharePoint you straight away would say well go and click on something else and prove it uh, prove it actually works and I would say yes you've caught me out because um, the link is dynamic sorry the, the link text is dynamic but when I click on it it's still got uh, village lane up here so it's not the correct filter. So then we have to come back and update our link to also be dynamic. So I'm going to come back to Nintex Forms and just like the title we need to put the title so into the URL to make it dynamic as well. So we come to here and get rid of that and we can do plus so we're really adding a string to something else. So adding that and we can go form and title insert that and update. Coming back here and publish and I'll actually open this up in a new tab this time and let's go uh, Village Lane. Okay, so has reports and dynamic site here. Clicking on it, 
opens up a new tab and it's got village line. Now if we go back and we select Randy Way and that has it reports. Now we can see Randy Way coming in. So it's now dynamically giving us a way to show related items. Now it's not uh, actually showing the items on the form. It, there's just no way of doing that. Now I, I did hear someone saying, could we do it through repeating sections or workflow? And I don't think that is going to work. This is the only way I'd really recommend if you're wanting to have that sort of relationship or that sort of related items. Um, the other thing you might actually ask or someone might ask, what if this was a new project site? So if I come through to here and I say new, and we're starting a new project at um, I don't know, 595 Collins Street, 595 Collins Street, and it says hazard reports for, because this hasn't been populated yet, so it's got nothing to put dynamically here. And so you might say, well, that looks a bit crappy. How would I solve that? Well, I'd come back through to here and you've got a bunch of different options here. Now, if I was just to put this uh, visible no, then the link would never show up. So that doesn't help me at all. So what you could do is you could do, there's a few different things here we could do. We could do a rule and we could say add new rule, uh, hide the label. And we could say uh, insert uh, form modes is display mode uh, is yes. Then label visible is no, else label visible is yes. So basically it's saying if you're in display mode, hide the hide the label. Otherwise for everything else just show it. So we'll go and create that rule, go to preview, and we can see it there when we're in new mode. Uh, sorry. Uh, oops. Edit. New. I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? Uh, let's debug my own form. Uh, is display mode? Is display mode yes? Visible is no. Display mode. Ah. New mode, we need a view mode, so that was just me being silly. So let's get rid of that and say it's for mode, uh, new. So it's only in new because it doesn't that field hasn't been updated. So we go to preview, new, edit, display. There we go. So then our link only shows when it's not in new mode. Now you could do different combinations of this. You could either say if it's new mode is yes, or if you were feeling a little bit crazy, you could say something like for mode, uh, edit mode, or uh, what did I say before? Display mode um, is yes. Uh, then you'd say yes, and this is no. So it's saying, hey, if you're in edit mode or in your display mode, show the label. Otherwise, don't show the label. So just different strokes for different folks. New, uh, edit, display. Now, one other way you could do it, and I'm sure a few people are already uh, screaming at their monitors telling me how to do it. So you come through to here and click on the label and say, well, there's this new cool option here which is the visible in the config panel has a little slidey insert variable here. Now you can insert a variable and you could say well I could do um, there's a few things in here you could do. You could say uh, form mode is um, uh, if you only wanted it to show it in let's say uh, display mode for instance. You could just put that straight in there and that would actually work. So new doesn't show, display shows, but edit doesn't show. So you might say, well, I want to show it in edit or display. So then you can come through to here and you could say, okay, we'll get rid of that. Let's do a different formula. Let's say um, mode is uh, uh, new. Uh, it's not, uh, what is it? Not true. Uh, or you could actually just say something like um, equals uh, false. You can insert that. That would work. So there you go. Links disappeared. Edit display that works or you could do something like uh, what else could we do we could say uh, mode uh, is um, edit equals true or um, mode display equals true so that's kind of like our rule as well so there's a bunch of different ways you could kind of get around this and insert and you'll see this also works as well so new link doesn't show up and link shows up that way so just to prove I'm not a liar, I'm going to publish this and go back to my form and close this. That's all done. And we come through to here and project sites, I'm going to click on village lane. And we can open up our report, that works well. And if we come back to here and we do new, close that one. And now the link doesn't, doesn't appear. So that's how I would 
solve the related items. Uh, it does rely on a bit more um, uh, SharePoint knowledge and a bit more SharePoint uh, uh, UI, but uh, certainly it will solve um, that problem. Hope that's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.